welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another edition of the Game of the Week. Um, we're in a little bit of barb trouble. A little bit of barb trouble. Uh, but it's great to have you guys here. We're going to sort this out and do all the good things. Um, I'm going to keep this settler on the move. Like that. You... There, he should move out of the way. Hopefully he doesn't move into the way. If that guy moves there and this guy moves here, I'm going to be pissed. But I did move here instead of there, so this guy would have an option to move there. To make it more likely he did not move in. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get to there. Those are going to be some nice... That's going to be a nice city. 2-2 two, two city center, a couple of 2-2 two, two tiles of culture. Uh, some nice stuff up there as well. Uh, do, 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 do. what to do in this city now, though? You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna go chop. I'm gonna use this last charge to go chop down that jungle, um, into a settler, and we can place our culture or our theater square. Um, now here, this builder's got two charges left, and this guy's making me nervous. This guy, I'm going to step back here, and I'm going to try, if this guy comes at me, I think I might be close to winning that battle if we back and forth that. Because um, he steps to here, I get first shot, he's attacking a cross river onto the trees, I still have a promotion to grab, so I should be able to win that quite easily. Uh, this guy, I'm going to skip, and if this guy comes to here, then I'll go back here and hope he doesn't. This, this, the, um... The scouts don't tend to aggressively pursue um, civ uh, civilian units. They just they just make they just take a path that's predetermined based on whatever. So uh, I can't reach back here. So this city can't even get the food. Ah, oh, such a draw. Uh, how long? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna skip. I'll skip that, and I'll wait until this city gets founded and then I can do it there because I, I really do want to have a, a food and a production in that city all right that's very good you go to there for a couple turns you can skip um, you are going like that you are going like that That you get back in the game. First hit. Oh shit, that archer's gonna get. Damn it, that archer's gonna get me. I might die. I'm gonna have to back away from that. I just, as soon as I took the swing, I'm like, oh, that archer's gonna be a pain in my ass. Uh, he could get there now. I'm gonna step to there and hope he gets the hell away from me. Ah, uh, it's frustrating. Why did it have to spawn archers? Yeah, I knew that was coming. The Lord made us all out. I do have a promotion available, so I'll step to there, grab the promotion, and he won't be able to hit me next turn. Hopefully, this guy pursues me. Um, I'm gonna work that archer. I think I kill him next turn. Uh, you're going there. I'll wait till I'm on the settler. Uh, yeah, I'll wait. I'll just wait. Yeah, I need to go over here because I need to actually get to this shipbuilding before too long. Try and get a couple galleys built somehow. Be nice to have a whole bunch of money. <laughs> Amen, am I right? Uh, this guy is gonna go to there. Uh, this guy's gonna keep moving, and this guy go to there. So that'll be four, five, six. Uh, granary. 
next turn I settle the city and start the trade route. Uh, you get that hit. He'll die when he attacks me next turn. You are going to step out. Attack him. And he's dead. There's the boost to archery. Another era score. We're seven short on that. I'm actually going to... Doesn't really matter. I'll step to there. Makes no difference. Oh, there's... It's a Brazilian galley. Oh, and look at that tile. And it's within reach. That's a nice new luxury, too. Oh, no. I'm going to get my builder's toes. Promo available. Um, so that's three slingers. I need to turn them into archers later if I ever get the money. Um, let's finish that campus. Thanks. A one to review. Yeah, I'm, uh, oh, I'll wait on that guy one more time. I do have plans to do a, uh, a top five series that's going to basically discuss my opinions for basically all video, or all top fives, top five civs for all around, science, culture, faith, domination, um, top five, um, Top five wonders, top five natural wonders. Like, just do a whole, anything you can think of for, you know, um, top fives, top five unique units. Um, let's see. I got a whole bunch of different ideas I want to try and do, so. Uh, I think I'll go here. There's, there's going to be a bunch of gold there. That'd be nice. Get that gold going. Get our monument there. And we'll work that right there. But yeah, I, um, yeah, definitely want to hit like the top five wonders to build and stuff. Like top five all Vessels around, basically. All right, there's your plus three. Getting close on that heroic age. Um, get you to go there, you to go there, you step there and take your promotion, you can go here, uh, I can do archery now, and then, I think it's going to be the gold, really. Um, Settler and Chop. I'm just going to place the theater square, but jump right back into the Settler like that. Uh, you go like that. I wish I could settle here. Here's the thing, if I settled there, I could have settled last turn if I didn't want to do that. But if I settled to here, it would bring this tile in sooner, and it'd bring this tile in sooner, and I wouldn't lose the chop. I would step away from that, but that's not too big of a deal in the T, but it's not too big a deal either. But it would bring these two tiles in sooner. The problem is, is I would lose this tile for a seaside resort. Right now in this location, I get all three. So if I wanted to, I could settle here if I was just kind of predetermining myself that I would eventually go take out Granada um, and take that seaside resort, which I kind of am compelled to do. But the problem is, is I have to make that decision now. I have to be like, okay, we're doing this. I am going to put this city here and take Granada later. It's either that or put the city here and hold those. I feel like I want to actually put the city here, to be honest with you. Brings in two good tiles 
much sooner. And I save a chop. And for a city that's not going to have any production, it'd be nice to save the chop. I'm, I'm changing my mind on that one. So a little bit of a mind changer there. And I'm going to go over here and build that pasture. There's your horseback riding. Three away from a heroic age. Uh, into the monument, of course. Three one's a nice tile to start with. Uh, once we get ourselves out to this tile, that'll be a 3-2. Growth will be real strong in this city. Not too bad at all. Um, tile purchasing card would be nice, because I do. I would like to put down the campus here. Get that placed. The other thing I want to do, and I was talking about this off-camera briefly, uh, before we started this video this particular edition uh, was I wanted to kind of dot the map a lot more I wanted to like really plan this island out I've done it in the past not during a game of the week Big Terraza Dota Terrazzo Big Terrazzo Dota there it is I got it I think Big T. Can I call you Big T? Big T, do me a favor and leave your shoes at the door and make yourself at home. Appreciate you being here. I'm glad you found us and I'm glad you're enjoying. Uh, do you ever put citizens in building slots like in libraries or markets? Not... I don't like physically lock them into them, San Leroy. But there are times when you don't have a lot of tiles. Like if you have a fairly high population and not a ton of tiles because you've got, like, for, let's say, lots of mountain or ocean tiles or something like that that they will get put in there and also towards the end of games where you're trying to push science uh i will push this the, the emphasize science button on this on the screen here this button here to emphasize science and it will intentionally put people into the science districts in order to into the science slots in order to produce more science From time to time, I will. Yeah. Yeah. But not, like, early on. It's just not worth it. I'd rather have the cities growing and producing and stuff like that. It's just not worth it, I don't find. Um, so, yeah. I have done it in the past. Like I was just saying about dotting the map up. I always... I You know, I work my adjacencies and stuff like that. Um, I haven't done it in a game of the week, but I kind of want to do it in an island situation like this. Where I really kind of map out the island quite... In a lot of detail the districts uh seaside resorts national parks uh wonders really kind of dial it in it's going to take a little bit of time and uh it's not going to be like you know it's going to take a big chunk of this video um but i think it's worth it and i'm hoping to get some feedback from you guys to let me know what you think of of doing this and i could do it more in the future but that being said Let's begin to rock the pins. Uh, I like the colors too. These are nice colors with, uh, they're very like, they stand out really nice. So right out, right out of the gate, I'm gonna tell you what I love. I love this. Um, there's two beautiful, whoops. There's two absolutely beautiful national, national parks right here because this one in particular because you're going to be able to put i could put a city park here and a city park there and stuff like that um but what's really awesome about this and keep in mind i do have to find a tile this would probably be the campus i do have to make sure i have a tile for saint basil's let me just double check the requirements must be built adjacent to the city center. I was going to say. Must be built adjacent to the city center. I just thought of that too. I was like, oh, I better check. You know what I could do? I could move it up here, actually. This one here, I could move to there. I'd have to get rid of that mine later on, but I would never be able to put a tree there. I could put it here instead. Or I could... The thing is, I could put St. Basil's there, but if I put St. Basil's there, I'd be taking away one of the hills... And I want to maximize the amount of hills we have to work throughout the game. Uh, Mancino, how you doing? What's the main thing to think of when first settling? Uh, tile yields. 
The first thing, the most important thing to settle when you're settling a city is tile yields. Uh, followed by, um, so immediate tile yields, meaning in the first ring, and then also tile yields within a couple rings. The next thing I would say most important is, is are you getting any luxuries or resources that you need? So for instance, you want to settle a city that gets you a luxury, um, or you want to make sure you're settling a city that's going to get you a strategic resource that you may need, like horses or iron. In this case, I've already got iron and stuff, but you know, let's say I didn't have that. And I was, and there's like, you know, there's iron sitting here for whatever reason, make sure you're settling a city to get that iron. You know, sometimes that's a strategic uh, decision you have to make. But the number one most important thing when you're looking at where to settle a city is the immediate um, area for tiles yields. So if you can get a 2-2 city center is fantastic. That's if you're on a Plains Hill. Um, and like I said, if you're grabbing a luxury, it's wonderful as well, especially if it's got like a bonus culture or science or, or a whole bunch of extra gold. Uh, but also just like the tiles around like for instance this city here isn't actually all that great this moment but it does have a benefit of it's got some hills it's going to be able to work down here uh this will turn into a three two tile and i do have a lot of chops that i'll be able to use to chop stuff down and get things done uh and also these will become three ones that aren't too bad either but generally speaking you want to put down a city like here you got a couple two two tiles with culture a couple two two tiles with culture uh they turn into gold tiles as well you got mountains uh, oh crap, did Yerevan, some, oh, Pedro's gone and grabbed Yerevan, they just took a tile from me. I'm gonna have to take Yerevan down here eventually. Um, also, like, for instance, this is, I'm gonna be able to build a wonder on this city, of hopefully a Petra. So that's a thought process in that particular city. Um, but yeah, tile yields, so the city center tile yield plus, you know, what I call power tiles are any tile that has at least two food and two production. Um, or at least four total. So if it's like a one three or a three one, is 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 a power tile. So you've got lots of growth, lots of production, so that things grow and build quickly. The last thing you want to do is put down a city with a two one city center, and it's got like all the tiles around are like two ones and one twos, and you're just constantly working tiles like that have like only two or three yield each, because it makes a huge difference if you can have twice as much food or twice as much production. On each tile uh, as you produce so so finding places for that also I guess in there too is not is is, um, is fresh water uh, try to find fresh water in as many cities as you can so I would say 1a and 1b are tile yield and then fresh water and then the third thing would be resources is it getting me a luxury is it getting me um, a strategic resource that I need things like that So I need to put St. Basil's in here. And I also would need to put the theater square next to it, if at all possible. So I think that this is out. And this would then be in. Uh, I would eventually be able to lose that <clears throat> iron mine, but I wouldn't be able to actually put trees on it, so that would kind of suck. But I could put a city park right here. In this city, I'll put a city park right there. Uh, that would help a lot. Now, it doesn't. this still doesn't have a thing for city park, right? I, I normally use this great merchant because they don't actually have a tile thing for the city park. Yeah, it looks like they still don't. I don't think this has been changed at all. So I'm going to use that. And that's that's the sign for city park. And then this here could also be a city park. Because... What am I doing again? There. Uh, I'm thinking that this becomes a national park out there. Now a lot of people might say, hey, well, how come you're not putting the national park over top of the mountains and stuff? I'm going to tell you why. Because the yield, the appeal yield of of mountains is locked at four, and the output of tourism by a national park is directly related to the total appeal 
of all the tiles within that park. So the last thing you want to do is limit the appeal of a tile. So for instance, if all of these, if I put all trees on all this and I put, uh, let's say I put a city park out here as well, which would be the plan, then all of these tiles would have massive appeal. All right. So this tile right here would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from this. So this tile here would have seven appeal immediately, no matter what. This tile would have a six. These two tiles, would, well, this, this tile would have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then an extra there of seven. This tile would be one short because there won't be any trees on that tile. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, and then an extra there of six. These would only ever be four. So if I put the National Park right here, then the output of this would be absolutely limited by a lot. It would be much, much smaller because instead of having sixes and sevens, I would have fours. Um, and that's not good. Um, so there, yeah, there you go. Um, that's the reason why I don't tend to put them on mountains. Again, same thing here. This is going to be all trees and mountains and a river going right through it, which is extra adjacencies. This is before we get the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is going to add two to all these. And so these will become eights and nines versus sixes. Um, so that's why I don't use the mountains in case anybody's wondering, you know, before you fill up my comment section on YouTube with why aren't you using mountains in your national parks? There's a reason why. Uh, best answer I've gotten, you're a beast. Oh, stop it. Stop it. I'm happy to answer any questions, but I love talking about this game and answering questions and helping people enjoy it. <laughs> so, uh, the, the, what the plan would be then at this point is I would have to put St. Basil's there. Uh, where is it? St. Basil, St. Basil, St. Basil. It'd be a luxury. There are luxury, I wonder. Oh, and by, by the way, uh, Rival Prosperity, thank you very much. Uh, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Isn't that the number 41? <laughs> Rival Prosperity, thank you very much for the follow. Is it the number 41? That's been forever. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Leave your shoes with there. Make yourself at home. Appreciate you being here. So fabulous. So fabulous to have you here. The two arguments for using the mountains is if it allows the extra national park, assuming you can afford both, uh, or if you really need more improbable, improbable tiles in the city. Yeah, if you wanted to have lesser national parks, but more of them, that would be an option. But I would say, I mean, unless you're going for a situation where you want to try and have like 10 or 15 national parks or something like that, you're just going to have crazy amounts of national parks, which I've done in the past. Um, or if you want to try and squeeze them in because you don't have much options or you want to save some tiles, like you said. Is it 42? Yeah, it's, 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 I kept saying 41 over and again. 41 doesn't sound right. 41 doesn't sound right. I think it's 42. Of course. Of course it is. Um, so, yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Um you know, you could squeeze some in around the mountains and you could get an extra one or two, like if you did it right, you know, maybe find a way to get an extra one in here somewhere. Um, you know, for instance, if you wanted to, you could always throw another one up in here. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I probably would um, if, oh wait, I couldn't put one there. No, you couldn't. You could put one here, I guess. You could get rid of all the mines and put one here, but you couldn't put one there because it's too far away. The last tile is not in, in the city. But um, I don't tend to worry about the workable tiles because you're putting them in later in the game anyway. Like, for instance, here, I'm gonna, these three tiles here are going to be mines for a lot of the game. I'm going to get St. Basil down here, and these are going to be mines. And then eventually I'll take the mines out, put trees up, and put in the National Park. Uh, I have, yes, yeah, um, 
Shown Dragon. Yes, I have played the Mapuche. Played them a couple times. Actually, one of my favorite runs, and one of the favorite runs of any runs that I've done, was a run that took forever as Mapuche, because it had a terrible city start, and things just so many things went wrong in that city, in that sieve, or in that playthrough, I should say. But we ended up doing a massive seven national parks down in the tundra in that particular run. And they all linked together for seven national parks across two cities. And it was really quite a beautiful. And uh, and I had like spies going, tearing down uh, um, spaceports and stuff like that. And we just squeaked out a window. It was actually a really fun one. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> okay, so other options. Uh, another national park here could be a thing. Um, uh, like that, and like that. Um, the only thing is, too, at this point, is I would probably my thought is I'd have to put a theater my theater square there, which would mean that couldn't be a mine. But that's not too bad. There's still two mines there to be had, and then the two mines there, or three mines there. And then I don't even know where I would like. Wouldn't even put the commercial hub in. Keep the city relatively simple, maybe. Pump out builders or something. I don't know. Long term, though, this is what I would want to see. Oops, maximize the output. And then, um, commercial hub, Brahms with the biddies. Thank you, bud. Commercial hub, theater square, campus, wonder. Uh, I was thinking campus. So this is already getting adjacency. That's getting adjacency. Campus is there. I kind of want to push, because I'm Congo and I get the 50% bonus towards mer great merchants, and I really want to get the bank that gives you plus two great work slots. Um, I want to make sure I push the great, the, the, uh, um, commercial hubs, even though I don't have a lot of rivers. So there's their campus, there's the theater square. And then I could go with another commercial hub for these guys there. Or you know what I could do? This I could put theater square there and a theater square there for them. These are flat land anyway. I could actually put like this. This city's commercial hub there, and this city's commercial hub there, and then I could put other districts in and around it. These cities are going to struggle for campuses, but having some nice strong theater squares would be nice. So I could go theater square, theater square. And I don't even know. I could add in other districts around that to try and get these theater squares up. I don't really like the locations because I would the potential for a wonder would be nice. Mm -mm. I don't know. Uh, other thing I want to take a look at too, of course, is. Uh, seaside resorts are going to be all over the place. Lots and lots of really nice spots for seaside resorts. Uh, the Conceitside Resort, now I'm just having a 
question here, because Seaside Resorts can be placed on desert. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought they could. Because I had a spot right here for a Seaside Resort, but I just want to make sure. And then another one there. Oh shoot, I was thinking plus four harbor there and it's a freaking reef. Guess I go plus three there. Oh well, yeah, because I gotta go to commercial hub somewhere. We're putting other districts back in here eventually. Although I, I'm going to try and keep the districts to a minimum because I want that. Maybe go a harbor in this city. And then this, you can put a harbor there and get extra adjacency. Who knows? Um, okay, so seaside resorts are kind of done, I think. Almost. One here. Uh, this will be Petra. Now, the theater square, this is, their, this is their campus, this is their campus, that's their theater square. The campus, sorry, the theater square could go up here for a plus two. I'd have to take up a Petra Hill. Eleven. I have eleven Petra Hills plus four other good tiles. So I mean until the population gets to fifteen, I'm actually doing pretty well. If I were to lose one of those to a theater square in order to give it some adjacency, that does not bother me at all. Yeah. I was thinking about the theater square up in here. And then maybe it's the commercial hub. I could put the commercial hub here for the adjacency, but those guys already have good adjacencies. I could just do a plus two commercial hub right there. It's not fabulous, but um, it's kind of sporadic even, but it was whatever. You gotta live with it. Other national park ideas, uh, I do want to have obviously more than three or four. Um, I was thinking as a possibility here, but the problem with that is, is the two with the two uh, luxuries are going to kind of be in the way of getting a good adjacencies on there. Um, potentially up in here, eventually somewhere. I was thinking, I could just put. Maybe here. Eat the banana. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Help, I'm dying. Don't die. Just breathe, man. Breathe. Uh, this here would absolutely want to be a seaside or a uh, city park. What the heck is that? Oh, yeah, we're doing this. Um, probably want a city park on each of these. Absolutely want a city park here. Maybe. Uh, 
absolutely a city park there. I can put another city park there if I wanted. Makes sense. Uh, put another city park there. Uh, this city's districts. Um, yikes. This city's districts are kind of along here. So maybe districts would go up in here somewhere. Oh, you know what? Put this city's theater square right there. And this city's theater square would go here. And potentially entertainment complex there. So this city would have campus, commercial hub, Yeah, because I want to add an adjacency to there. That's good. Uh, so theater square came with, and those would be that, and then this would get an adjacency off of this. So that would be this city's stuff here. Uh, this city of theater square there. Uh, theater square adds appeal, but I. Not really so much point. I would want to put trees there. So that means I'd have to go here. I could go like campus and then harbor. And then I get an adjacency run through there. It's not much, but anything, right? That's good, that's good, that's good. Um the city's good. That city. I'll be I'll be spattering in some entertainment complexes as well um, to help with adjacencies and with or even like water water parks and stuff as well. I'd probably put in lots of water parks actually, so I wouldn't need up tiles. Uh, I still got to figure out something going on there. Uh, I do like generally speaking everything I've got going on there. But I'm not 100% sure how I'll finish that off. These tiles will all stay alive. This is good. Um, figure something out there. Uh, no, no, no. Once. I could. You know what I could do? I could put another city park right here. Or sorry, national park there, or another national park in here somewhere. Could work off of that. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to be boring. <laughs> How you doing, Sky Zoe? Norm this game, avoiding all wars. Well, how how do I get into wars when I haven't even found anybody's land? Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a bit of a peacemonger. That's true though. Yeah, I feel like I'm good here. I would like a commercial hub in this city somewhere, but I don't know where the heck I'd freaking put it. Districting a little bit up there is gonna be an issue. And finding some more national parks. Like, I've got four here. I'd like to find at least two more. I don't know if I'm going to go here. Or up in here somewhere. Figure out something to change around in there. But I'm getting close to done. Maybe another national park there. Uh, I kind of kind of want to take out Granada eventually.
Minneapolis, how you doing? Totally missed the kickoff of your YouTube channel. You mind if I fire up Photoshop to create a new header background suggestion? Absolutely, I don't mind at all, Minneapolis. Uh, I've actually been... Um, actually, I'll get to that in one sec, because my alarm just went off. And I'm not going to go over on this video, like I did the last one. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. What the heck was this going to be? What was that? What even is that? Um, let me know what you guys thought about dotting the map this thoroughly, and the discussion that w went in around it. Uh, I hope it wasn't too boring. Hopefully things uh, are enjoyable for you when we're doing this. Uh, a couple more national parks I'd like to find at least. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this has been a good one. Let me know in the comment sections what you thought of it, folks. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.